I'm Leah Carey, and I'm a consultant and facilitator with Insight Experience. I've consulted and coached executives on leadership development for over 30 years. I'm particularly interested in any concept that increases leader self-awareness because I believe this awareness is critical to leadership effectiveness. John le Carre, British author of espionage novels and former British spy, would know a broader view of the world is less dangerous. This is true for novelists, spies, and leaders of all types. One of the goals for this program is to provide you with a balcony perspective. When we talk about leadership, we often talk about the doing of leaders, just as important as your mindset or perspective. We're going to spend a few minutes talking about what it is to have a balcony perspective as a leader. Getting on the balcony is a metaphor made popular by two professors at the Kennedy School of Government, Ron Heifetz and Marty Linsky, in their book, Leadership on the Line. They suggested that leaders must get up off the dance floor, so to speak, and onto the balcony to gain a different and broader perspective on the businesses they lead. Let's think about leading and managing as a dance floor. Picture yourself on a dance floor. Maybe it's ballroom dancing. Maybe it's a wedding. It's loud and busy. What do you see? You see your partner, other dancers. You see what's happening around you, up close. You see tiny details, and you have some peripheral vision. You can often anticipate the bumps that are coming. The dance floor is where the action happens. Now, when you get on the balcony, what do you see? Dancers are moving around. You see everything that's happening with them and around them, what's going well and what's not, who's dancing and who's not. You see the patterns that emerge. The patterns are critical knowledge only to be gained from this perspective. How will you see it all if you're down in it? What might you miss? If you think of the dance floor as your daily operations, then what might be the balcony for you? How will you create that space to see more broadly as a leader. Here are some balcony type activities. It's a good list, ranging from spending time on your own, reflecting, to collaborating with others and learning from others, whether they be customers or stakeholders or peers. Anything that broadens your perspective on your business that you do intentionally is a balcony activity. To be clear, Heifetz and Linsky were not proposing that you become a balcony-only leader. They believe that you need to be both, in the day-to-day and on the balcony, moving between the two with intention and awareness, taking what you learn from one perspective to inform the other. The suggestions here can help spur your own thinking about how to build balcony time into your already very busy leadership life. Take yourself out of the fray to understand what's really going on, Make this a practice of yours. Deliberately set aside time from the day-to-day routines. and Don't get stuck in one perspective or the other. You can't affect action up on the balcony. To have an impact, you must return to the dance floor. One last thought about the balcony. A colleague of mine was an Olympic sailor. She grew up in New Zealand and says that everyone sailed. It was just something you did. As a young girl, she started her sailing career on a lake. She got in the boat with some other kids, and she just couldn't make sense of it. Everything they taught her on land was not reflecting the reality of the wind and the waves on the sailboat. It was frustrating. Remember, though, I started by telling you she was an Olympic sailor. What made the difference for her was that her sailing coach had her climb up to the ridge above the lake and look at the action from there. She could see how the wind was impacting the boats, how the boats rounded the buoys, who was in the lead, all of it. She totally got it. Back in the boat, she could keep the broad perspective of the elements and the narrow perspective of her race in her mind at all times. To be a great sailor, she needed both perspectives. Something to be aware of as you execute strategy in your organization. How will you change your current practice of leadership to shift consciously between balcony and dance floor? If you already do this, how will you even more intentionally use what you discover in each view to inform the other?